I guarantee you have not seen custom finishes like the ones we're showing you in this home right behind me. In fact, not all custom home builders are created equal, and that's exactly what we're gonna show you today as we tour this brand new model right here in a luxury acreage community on the north side of Houston. This is Quincy Custom Homes, and this just opened yesterday. And this isn't just any other builder. I actually know the owner very well, so much so that he's actually a realtor at our brokerage, and he builds a phenomenal product. And as we walk through this home today, you're gonna see some features that we just haven't seen in any other homes that we've toured, starting with the on-site built cabinets that are absolutely gorgeous. The trim work and the mill work and all of the wood that runs throughout this home is really second to none. It, it levels it up and then the outdoor space is phenomenal. And I'm not gonna spoil it all, but there are some really cool features in this home. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna check it out, and then we'll tell you exactly where we are today and exactly how much this bad boy costs. It starts in here in this grand foyer where you come into the home and you actually have 12 foot ceilings. And whenever you look up, immediately what you'll see is you have clear pine on the ceilings and that's gonna be a theme throughout this home. And it really elevates the look and feel. This isn't just another big million dollar plus sheetrock box. It's all of the details that make this place so special. But another thing that I love are these double front doors. You just get all of this natural light beaming in from this huge front yard and the orientation of this home is great. So you've got the sun coming in right through these front doors. Uh, really solid metal black doors with the glass floor to ceiling. And then moving on over here to these windows, you've got the floor to ceiling windows here too. Usually windows kick down to about here, but these go literally all the way floor to ceiling. So it's such a cool look. And another thing that's super unique about this home that a lot of builders miss out on, that a lot of clients from out of state, specifically California, love, here in Texas, most of the builders are gonna use a, a very textured sheetrock, and a lot of people don't like that, but we actually have a level four finish over here on the sheetrock. It's probably not gonna come through on camera, but these are nice and smooth walls. They don't have much texture on them at all, which is cool. So we'll start here at the front of the house. You've got your home office. You continue to have these 12 foot ceilings, and you know what? It just, it just doesn't look right not staged. So I'm gonna get out of the way and Keith is gonna show you exactly what this could look like if this was your home office. So now that we showed you the office, we're right back here in the heart of the home and this home very much lives as one big open family room. You could call it the great room, but it's got this nice connectivity between the kitchen and the living room. <clears throat> you see the gas fireplace kicked on over there. That's a natural gas fireplace. It's not one of these new modern electric fireplaces. And then you've got a gorgeous mantle. So there's two wood types running throughout this home. You've got the clear pine on a lot of the ceilings, but then you're gonna have this white oak that is also another really nice natural wood tone throughout the house. So you've got it here on the island, you've got the white oak on the vent hood, and then you also have the white oak right over there on the mantle above the fireplace. And so they're mixing up these two different wood types. Now let's start over here with the kitchen because as I mentioned, these are on-site built cabinets. And if you don't know what that means, that just means they're not buying these bad boys from Ikea. These are a true craftsman. Every single one of the cabinet doors, including all of the, uh, the actual cabinetry itself is built here on site by a trim carpenter and that just allows it to be uh, fit better and adjusted better and more dialed in than just bringing them in and setting them down right off of a truck. So we are missing the refrigerator over here. Obviously this being a fully custom home, they wanted to leave you the option to purchase whatever fridge you want. However, because they already have these really nice high-end gin air appliances, I would imagine you would probably just wanna go ahead and match those. So they did some cool exposed shelving over here, which is a nice little touch, but I like that most of the cabinetry is completely enclosed. And one thing that is a huge value add is that they did a ton of drawers. So quite literally, they've got drawers all the way throughout this kitchen, which I just think are a lot more functional than cabinets. You've got some cabinets down over here, but I love the drawers. And then even over here in the corner, you've got this nice huge storage area over here, which to be completely honest, I don't even know what you would put there, but you've got it. Now let's take a look at the ceiling really quick. This is one of those features that I, I meant when I say I haven't seen this in any other home. I, some people might think it's extravagant. To me, it, it's what set this home apart from a lot of the other properties that we see. 
And whenever you build with Quincy Custom Homes, you can use this exact trim carpenter and they can do all sorts of stuff. In fact, they were presented with a ton of different options. They decided to go with this cool geometric pattern. But between Justin um, and their designers, the sky is quite literally the limit. This was a fully custom home experience that they did build as a model home. And also this home is actually currently for sale. And it's the first home you see when you pull in to the luxury acreage community of High Meadow Estates. So it's got great access um, right out of the neighborhood. You're not way back in the middle of the community where it takes a long time to get out of it. So I think it's a great location. Now, as far as this kitchen goes, I love these countertops. They've got the nice thick edge. It just makes it feel nice and substantial. And then you've got the two-tone colors going on with the cabinetry. So as I mentioned, you got the white oak, but then you've got this nice kind of taupe gray. And then they do have the really cool gold hardware on the cabinetry already installed. And it's gonna match this pot filler. So if you don't know what this is, when you're cooking in the kitchen and you're trying to do pasta, you don't have to go all the way from the sink over here. You can just fill it up directly with the pot filler. Just make sure that your kids don't get a hold of this or figure out what this is, or you're gonna have a problem on your hands. And then, holy cow, this is one of the nicest cooktop oven combos that we have seen lately. As I mentioned, this is Gin Air, and I love the gold accents, how they just match up perfectly with the hardware in the kitchen. So you've got a six burner gas cooktop with this gorgeous wrapped in white oak vent hood. And then what's really cool is they, they took the same exact quartz countertops and they use that as the backsplash to run them up the wall. So it just, it just screams classy. Now this is probably a good place to show you what kind of flooring they're using in here, because once again, keeping with those wood tones, you've got all the different options when it comes to flooring when you build fully custom. But I actually like that they went with this product. This is a luxury vinyl plank, but it, it definitely will trick you when you walk into the home. It's got a very much look and feel like real wood, except it's gonna be a lot more durable. So if you do have pets, it's gonna open up the opportunity to have really nice wood looking floors without ruining them. Now, what I will say, is I was slightly disappointed when I saw that this was the pantry. You would think in a custom home like this that you would have a lot more room for storage, especially if you're gonna be serving people over here in this dining room. Well, don't worry, that's not the case. They actually have this amazing and massive hidden pantry over here with tons of storage, with these kind of exposed pool cabinets. They were intentionally designed to just be functional and give you access. And then you've got your microwave slash conduction oven up in here. And then we even have the dual trash cans right over here. So it's very much a working pantry. You can store all of your stuff up in here. And then whenever you're not using it, you can just close this door on up and it's nice and hidden and it just kind of frees the kitchen up to be nice and open. Now, the dining room I love because you get these floor to ceiling windows back here on the back of the home too. And as you can see right through those windows, you just have this lush privacy because you've got this natural nature barrier with these trees behind here. So you've got pine trees, oak trees, and you've got the underbrush of Yopon, and we'll get you out in the backyard here in a minute to check that out. So they've got this set up um, running sideways actually, but I do think you've got a couple different configurations with this floor plan when it comes to the dining room table. They've got a six seater here. You probably couldn't go much wider, but if you ran it long ways like this, you could definitely fit an eight seater table with plenty of room and it would still not obstruct any kind of walkway over here. So let's check out along the back of the house. And while we're walking over here, I want you to look up again. I want you to see the ceiling. So the ceiling height in the front is 12 foot ceilings. You've got 10 foot ceilings in the kitchen. And then these are gonna open up over 20 feet at the peak of the cathedral ceiling. And you've got that beam running all the way out. But I do have to show you this back patio. Come on out here and check this out. So not only do you have the gas fireplace on the interior of the home, but you've got this great covered outdoor living area. And then you've got a gas log fireplace here. Um, they pulled the gas logs just because we haven't sold this home yet. But as soon as it's sold, they'll throw those in there, light it up and you'll be ready to go. I love that they've got the mantle out here. So this, as opposed to pine, is actually going to be birch. And then you've got the uh, plugs and outlet already set up for your game day television. We're working with a lot of stone on this house. So this is like a nice white kind of chopped Blanco stone. They went with the uh, kind of vertical hardy plank, got kind of a farmhouse vibe with like a dark charcoal look. But if you look up here on the ceiling, you've got this gorgeous stained pine. We're seeing this a lot on covered patios. It's really durable, holds up to the elements really well here. And then one thing that I think I wanna point out that's very different 
Um, with Quincy Custom Homes and, and the elements they decided to put in this home is they actually used solid wood beams. I believe these are 10 by 10 or 12 by 12 solid wood beams. These things aren't capped. These aren't the fake thing. These are the real deal. I mean, this guy right here has to be so heavy, I can only imagine. But that's actually a, a true structural element of the home. It's not just a facade, it's the real deal. And then let's just take a look at the backyard. So this home sits on just over an acre and this just gives you an idea of the amount of space that you have. They do have this lot kind of graded off a little bit down towards the back, but you've got plenty of room for a pool. A pool company could come in here, build the retaining wall along the back. And you have your own private backyard oasis with tons of privacy, no neighbor off to the right. You can't, can't even see the neighbor that would be over to the left because of the way that they set up the home. And then this is gonna be your outdoor kitchen. They left it unfinished because the buyers of this home, they wanted to give them the flexibility to pick their countertops, as well as the exact cooking elements that they wanna put in there. So depending on what brand you wanna go with, if you wanna go with Coyote or another brand, uh, you can pick that out and there is an allowance for that should you choose to buy this actual model home. And then look up, you got the fan out here with tons of track lighting all the way around. So it really does just bring this entire outdoor space together. Now, before we go inside, I just wanna let you know exactly who I am. I haven't done a great job of that in some of our videos. My name is Kyler Ferris. I'm a broker here in Houston. We'll sell 350 homes here in Houston this year. And I know a ton of the different people here in the industry in Houston. So we make these videos just for you so that you can see if Houston is actually a good fit for you and your family. So if you're thinking about moving here, you got questions, use us as a resource. Like we say, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us a quick email. That way we can actually help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas. Now, because Quincy Custom Homes is a fully custom home builder, you actually can build with them anywhere here in the Houston area. That being said, I do wanna tell you where we are today because this home is actually located in High Meadow Estates, which is a luxury acreage community right here in Magnolia, Texas. But it really is very much so on the border of Montgomery and Magnolia. And this area has obviously been exploding with growth. As you can see on our channel, we make a ton of videos about this area specifically, but we've also had a lot of clients from YouTube specifically move to this neighborhood. Like one of our favorite families, the Ruckers, we helped them close in this community just a few months ago, and they're all settled in. In fact, I'm playing golf with him in just a few weeks and they really, really love it here. And one of the things that people love about this area is the fact that you can get a fully custom home on one to two acres for a pretty reasonable price tag, which we'll walk you through pricing in a bit. But overall, you just get this luxury feel and it's significantly more affordable than a lot of the other states that clients are moving from. But another thing people like about this area is the, the proximity to a lot of the new shopping while still very much feeling like you're out in the country. There are tons of established trees throughout this community. You've got kids, families uh, riding around in their buggies all throughout the community, whether that's a golf cart or a UTV. And they even have a really great amenity center located here in High Meadow Estates with a pool. They've got fishing lakes. And then it really does have a nice family feel like you'd expect in a traditional neighborhood, but it's just a little bit more spread out because everybody is out here on acreage. And a couple fun facts, when you live out here on acreage, as long as you're over an acre and a half, you can actually drill your own well. All of the homes out here are on septic, but the perk of drilling on your own well is the fact that you can actually irrigate your whole lawn without having a water bill, which is a huge, huge perk. Now, as far as Magnolia and Montgomery go, we've featured Montgomery in a lot of our videos. Montgomery is kind of this uh, birthplace of the Texas flag. It's, a, it's kind of a cute, historic Texas town, and Magnolia kind of feels very similar as well. But you've got a lot of fun family things to do around here. You're about 15 minutes away from Lake Conroe, which is a great recreational lake for you to go out and go boating, fishing, skiing, tubing, wake surfing, all of those fun things. And then you're about an hour into downtown. Um, so some people will live up here and they'll commute in and out a few days a week to Houston. It's not a huge commuter community, but because they recently opened up the brand new Aggie Expressway, which is Highway 249, you're suddenly no longer out in the middle of nowhere. You've got a straight shot going 80 miles an hour directly down into Houston, and that tollway picks up about 10 minutes from the entrance of High Meadow Estates. So there are a lot of different home building options out here. So I wanted to show you exactly where we are today so you can know not only the area, but that way we can focus back on Quincy Custom Homes and everything that they have to offer. So now we're gonna go to one wing of the house. We've already shown you this really cool uh, kind of hidden pantry over here, uh, but back this way you have the, the owner's suite. And the owner's suite 
really is their own wing of the house. None of the other bedrooms are over here. And it continues that really cool theme of the cathedral ceiling. So you're going from 10 feet all the way up to 16 feet in the middle. And then you've got that clear pine beam that just kind of adds that level of connectivity from the, the living room over here into the master. And I love that they did the shiplap up on the ceilings. We're gonna see that in some other elements of the home too. This is a king size bed. We just got this place staged yesterday. And when we're talking about details, I wanna show you this because I hadn't seen this in any home and this goes back to having a custom trim carpenter, but they did this routered edge all throughout the home. You can see it along the baseboards, you can see it down in the hallways. And it's just a cool, fun element that I hadn't seen before that I think brings um, just a little bit of uniqueness to this property and sets it apart from the rest of the homes. You got a really cool kind of gold bronze chandelier going on in here and then plenty of space. I mean, they've got a two seater uh, love seat alongside the king bed, alongside the full-size dresser. And then this is situated nicely along the back of the home. So you've got nice clear views through these um, windows out into the backyard. Now, you got double doors opening up this massive bathroom. This thing is huge. You've got plenty of space in here. You're not gonna be bumping into your spouse. And we'll start over here with these cabinets because I love that they actually threw this additional cabinet storage up on top of the counter space. And what's really unique, they decided to go with different uh, different finishes in all the bathrooms just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So you have some huge tiles in here. These are probably like 18 by 36 inch tiles. Probably the largest I've seen in any bathroom we have filmed. And then, goodness, you've got two options. Come on in here, Keith. Step in here with me, bud. Look at this. We've got a whole shower room. You've got two sides. You could probably kick these things up and then just turn both handles and just absolutely get rained on. Um, you've got great storage over here with the recessed little cubbies for your shampoos. And then I do like the upper window to bring in the natural light, but still leave uh, privacy as long as Yao Ming is not your next door neighbor. I think you'll be just fine. And then this I thought was super unique. So a lot of times you'll have these freestanding tubs and they'll have their own faucets built in, but it's really cool that they ran the plumbing into the wall. There was a lot of thought put into that. And then if you turn around right behind you, you got the toilet room and the toilet room even has its own window. But the good news is it's got a little pocket door and check these things out. I love these. You can just kind of click them in, click them out. That's how you can grab these when they're all the way in. I feel like uh, in the olden days at your grandma's house with the pocket doors, you're just like trying your hardest to grab them and not succeeding. So. I love that they added that feature. Now, the flooring is gonna pick back up in here with the luxury vinyl plank, very similar to the rest of the house. And then come in here and see what this carpenter did. This is a dream closet, in my opinion. So much space, two dedicated size, plenty of, of, it's so cool. It's almost like you could organize your closet. It's not just all one row. You could have your, your winter clothes, you could have your shirts, you could have your pants. And then they even have your dress rack over here to give you plenty of room for those longer garments. And then this is really cool to have the built-in dresser along both sides. And then over here, you just have extra storage for potentially your shoes. And if that's not enough for your shoes, check this out. You can store all of this too. And I do believe that this cabinet's gonna serve as your linen closet. So this is where you'll keep all your towels and everything for the bathroom. Now, design feature that I always say that I love. Hold on, we almost skipped one. Check this out, you can put a little cushion on here, but you've got a little extra storage in there, maybe for some throw blankets. That's, that would be my guess. Um, but one feature that I really love is whenever they connect the uh, master bath and, and closet over to the laundry room, and that's exactly what they did here, bringing in a lot of storage. And then you've got your fully plumbed sink, you've got folding space, you've got drawers, cabinets, and then this is where you're gonna have that washer and dryer. You've got your gas line running in here, but you also have the option for gas or electric for your dryer. And then you've got a little mini window that's just gonna bring in some light. I love it. I don't think we've been in a room in this house yet that doesn't have a window, which I really appreciate. Now, this is gonna connect back through into this hallway. Like I said, this is the whole master wing of the house, but you've got a three car garage. It's got a little bit of stuff in here, but a couple things I wanna point out. Um, I would highly recommend epoxying all of these floors, but these are really tall ceilings. These are 10 foot ceilings. And what they did is they actually put eight foot garage doors instead of seven foot garage doors, which are gonna allow you to park your big lifted Texas truck that you're gonna buy when you finally move here. 
and then you've got fully insulated garage doors and a fully insulated garage. The value of that here in Texas is really if you did want to turn any of this into a home gym and maybe connect an AC or a window unit, you could do that. And then they also have these uh, nice windows off of the front of the house. And some garages here in Texas aren't finished. I do love, they put a 10 inch baseboard, once again, with that routed edge, just to bring some cohesive feel, not only to the house, but also to the garage. So as soon as you throw that epoxy down, it's just really gonna elevate the look and feel of this entire home. And then check out all the storage that you have here. This is really where you set yourself apart as a custom builder, especially building a, a custom inventory home that somebody could just buy. A lot of builders will skip out and they'll just kind of save money on this and they'll save money on that. That's not what Justin did when he built this home for Quincy Custom Homes. This is really a statement piece for him and his company as people pull into High Meadow Estates. This is the very first home that they're gonna see. So we're gonna cut across over here. The home is very much set up in, in kind of a different wings off of the main living area. It is a 3,768 square foot, one story home, but I think it just lives bigger because it's wide, it's got that ranch style. And then I like that the door to the bedrooms isn't just directly off of the living room, it kind of snakes through and connects over. So unfortunately this room's not staged, we can show you what that looks like when I move out of the way here in a second, but you've got 12 foot ceilings in here, plenty of space, you could easily fit a king bed in here, not just a queen, a king, and then, just again, great decision making, um, putting these nice larger upgraded windows in the house. And then this bedroom has its own ensuite. And as I mentioned, all of the different finishes in each bathroom are gonna be different. You've got different colored tile. And then get a look at this, Keith, this thing is sweet. Multiple different design patterns. And then they spent a little extra money taking the tile all the way up to the ceiling. And then this is a cool slider door. I actually prefer the slider to the ones that open. These are gonna take up less space. They're not gonna knock into your, your counter over here. You got your toilet and then you do have a walk-in closet. They continued to add built-ins all throughout this and then they've got these upper windows too. So really thought through everything. This is your um, smart panel. This is where they're gonna bring in your Wi-Fi, your cable, everything into the home. You can connect your at-home security systems. So. It's gonna live and breathe up here in this front closet. This to me would really serve probably as a guest room. And then, like I said, I'm, Keith, why don't you pop in there? I want you to show you these guys exactly what it would look like if it did have furniture in there and then we can check out the rest of the house. So coming across the fireplace, which is nice and cozy because we've had it on. Now you're entering a whole other wing of the house. So you, you've got your downstairs half bath here and it's really cool. They did vertical shiplap all the way floor to ceiling, painted it like a nice taupe olive green. And then you've got the cool kind of pedestal sink that matches white quartz with the undermount sink. And then this kind of gives me a, I don't know, just like a modern farmhouse vibe. And then these are eight foot doors and these things are sturdy. These are the real deal, but eight foot doors and they're actually painted the same color as the cabinetry throughout the house. So it, it kind of pops off of this white. It's just a little subtle difference that I appreciate. And then over in this section of the home, I want you to look up. You've got shiplap running all the way here. And then if you take a quick turn down this hallway, you've got it running all the way down there as well, which is super, super unique. Now, whenever they were staging this home, we really wanted to showcase how large these rooms are. So we did put a king size bed in here just to show off that it can hold uh, as large of a bed as you could possibly want. I mean, this thing's huge. You're still able to fit decent sized nightstands in here. You've got your, oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. You have to show them that. I almost touched this massive spider right here. Get out of here, buddy. And that is one thing you do need to be careful of when you're talking about uh, things here in Texas. There are spiders, they're not gonna get you but that one certainly felt like it almost did. Um, now, this one is really unique, this ensuite bath, because it really does open up in here. It almost has like an old school bathhouse vibe, the way they took this tile all the way up. And then what's interesting is, even though this is like a shower tub combo, they left you with the little bench over off of the back of the tub. I'm not gonna do it, but if you did wanna just sit there and ponder your day, you've got a nice little place to do that when you're cooling off in the shower. Um, Different, different color countertops in here too. And then I like that they framed out these mirrors with this black metal to match all of the hardware and fixtures. And then this closet's actually a little bit bigger. So fully walk in, you've got your dresser built in, plenty of hanging space. And then they're continuing with the uh, vinyl flooring in here. And we still have more to show you. So 
This very much operates as its own wing of the home. You've got a good storage closet over here, plenty of uh, shelving as well as hanging space so it could act as a storage slash coat closet. And then all the little details, there's outlets in the closets. That's important because you need a place to plug in those um, vacuum cleaners. This room also currently unstaged, could, could fit a king bed as well, same size as the other bedroom um, and window to the outside. And then, you know, they're just keeping with this theme of every single bedroom has its own bath. That was really important to, to Justin as he was building this home, was to think through, okay, we wanna build this for anyone, not just a, a family with little kids, but for all seasons of life. And so the safest thing that you could possibly do was was give everyone their own dedicated bathroom, still have the windows. And look at this. I mean, this is the cool part about living out here in this part of Houston is you've got the trees right outside. You got a nice sunny day, blue skies, green leaves, and a nice place to rinse off. So same setup with the closet here and then uh, same setup over here too with the pocket doors. And then guys, I've been saving this for last. This is kind of my favorite part of the house. So anytime you live in a one story home, you need that secondary living space to just kind of get away or let the kids run free or put the kids to bed. And that is this party space. I don't know if it echoes to y'all, but this room's huge. This is very much your game room, your playroom, your party room. And it's got the ship lap with the clear pine, cathedral ceilings, big fan. Uh, I'm a big fan of this room. And you've got the big black metal slider doors that completely are gonna open and transform this room and give you that indoor outdoor space. You just have a pool right out here behind the outdoor kitchen. It's gonna fit so well into the landscaping and then Keith, show them just the, just the privacy and the nature from this angle. So just completely secluded. But I would have a big old pool table or ping pong table located over here in this area. It just makes too much sense. Um, I'd mount your, your TV over here so you can watch your football, NFL, college game day, whatever it is. Um, golf simulator. <laughs> Keith nailed it. All right, this room could fit a golf simulator. Do I need to swing? I need, all right, here we go. Which way would it face? Probably, uh, prob probably would face this way. Uh, nope, there's windows there. We're going this way, showing you my butt. Here we go. Just get you a nice, there you go. Just a nice golf simulator room over here. I don't know if I would use this whole room for a golf simulator. This one's actually a little too pretty. This one truly feels like a nice game room, but you could always do that. So, all right, let's get you back out front of the home. I'm gonna walk you through pricing and all of the options with Quincy Custom Homes and some of the other builders right out here in High Meadow Estates. Now, a home like this isn't going to be cheap. However, I think there's a ton of value in the details that Quincy Custom Homes has put into this home. And one more feature that I do wanna point out that definitely elevates this home from a lot of the others here in this community is this thing has a metal roof on it. This is a 50 year metal roof that you're never gonna have issues with. And it's also just going to help insulate the home better. This home is two by six exterior construction as opposed to two by four. So it's gonna be even sturdier. And it's also going to provide uh, the ability to fit more insulation in the walls. And they're not just using normal bat insulation, they actually spray foamed this entire home. So it's like a Yeti cooler for a home. So you're gonna have lower energy bills and this thing is just gonna last a really long time. So you definitely get what you pay for when it comes to custom building. Now, as far as pricing goes, custom home building can vary dramatically depending on the features that go into the home. As I mentioned, this home is sitting on exactly one acre, maybe slightly over, gorgeous wooded lot, pretty level overall in the luxury acreage community of High Meadow Estates. And this one is 3,768 square feet, four bedrooms with the bonus room off the back, the outdoor kitchen and all of the upgrades that you saw. And it's listed for sale right now for $1.25 million. Now, when you contract to build a custom home, specifically with Quincy Custom Homes, they will draw you literally whatever home you want. And so you've got a couple options. You've got the option to go and buy your own lot in High Meadow Estates, which we can help you with, or there are a ton of other communities here in the area that might meet your needs better. We cover them in a lot of our other videos, but overall you're gonna purchase the lot and then we've got great lenders that we can connect you with that can act actually help you do an all-in-one construction loan where you buy the lot, you fund the loan, and you start building and picking all of the features out with Justin and his team over here at Quincy Custom Homes. So if you're interested in Quincy Custom Homes, but you're wondering where else 
that they build. Be sure to check out these videos right over here. They'll show you some other neighborhood options. And as always, if you're interested in moving to Houston or have questions, don't be shy. Just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us a quick email. That way we can help you make a smooth move right here to Houston, Texas.